You know, the scale off-road community is really something else. There's some creative and talented people out there building some really wild rigs. And then at events, you see them towing them around on trailers and such. And well, for the small scale crowd, there isn't much out there as far as a trailer goes. And we really needed something. I think Axial saw that and now they have this flatbed trailer. That's what we're gonna take a look at today. This isn't just a slab of plastic with some wheels on it. They've done their homework. They have some really cool detail on this accessory and it's even got lights. So let's crack open the box. Uh, there's not too much in here. I've already had it out. And if I could find which side I actually opened it up on. A few minutes later. It like always happens. Like why doesn't the box open when you need to open? Okay, so here's the trailer. It actually comes zip tied down and this thing is pretty cool guys. It's for 124 scale models. However, I think it's going to actually work on some 18th scale stuff as well. And let me just Toss that aside and here is the instruction manual for the installation, which is pretty simple. You're just going to attach the trailer hitch to your SCX24 and cart around whatever you want. So the trailer itself is molded plastic and uh, the deck of it is painted so it looks like wood. You can see it's a dual axle trailer. It's got trailer like treaded rubber tires glued to whole style wheels. The ball hitch is molded into the front and then the trailer hitch itself is a multiple piece. So it's got the bracket that mounts to the chassis. Then it's got the trailer hitch itself, the tongue, and then the pivot ball is a metal pivot ball even with a lock nut on it so that's pretty cool and let me spin it around so you can see the rear and this is where the lights come in they have the tail lights and then a wire that runs down through the center of it everything's clipped in nicely so it doesn't fall out and then you're just going to run your lead to your receiver so you could go and power pretty simple installation uh, looks like they've got metal axles on this and it's just got some bushings you don't really need bearings I'm sure somebody's going to go and have bearings for it bet you fast Eddie does and then guys you of course have ramps for it and the ramps are hidden in the back here they have these little turn clips you just spin it you slide out your ramp and there it is so of course you got two of them let me just get the other one out place them in the slot in the back of the trailer and just load up your rig awesome right this has got to be perfect for those of you that are building custom trucks or maybe you can just haul around your ax24 and you know what we, we've got to see this thing haul something around so i'm gonna go bolt it up onto my gladiator and i'll just show you how it looks once it's all set up So setting up the trailer was super easy to do. It only took me a few minutes, and I forgot to mention this before. I'll have links for it in the video description below. Please use those, that helps us here on the channel. It doesn't cost you any extra like and subscribe while you're there, but this looks absolutely awesome. Can't wait to drive my AX24 up onto it. And I noticed that the ramps do shift a little bit sometimes. Look at that, right on there, perfect fit, looks absolutely awesome. Now I mentioned to you guys before that I had this out of the box, and that's because I was looking at it and it looks like it's also gonna work well for 18th scale vehicles. So I actually went and took my TRX 4M and made it a little adapter with a buddy of mine. He helped me out with doing this because I'm, I'm still getting into 3D printing. With this little adapter, I'll be able to go and bolt on the trailer hitch. So let me show you how it looks. There's a trailer mounted up to the TRX 4M and it looks really good. I think this trailer is gonna work for both 24 scale and 18 scale. Yeah, it's a really cool accessory from Axial. I bet you we're gonna see a lot of custom rigs getting hauled around on this at local events. 